everybody. Happy Monday. It's part two of our Manufacturing Monday series where we're taking an extensive walk through the plant to give you an up close and personal look at how our homes are built. Last time we did our video, it was in March, uh, John talked about the features and benefits of our frames that we build here on site, the purpose of the camber and the flexibility of the frames and the features and benefits of that. After that, we moved to the PEX plumbing section, talked about the features and benefits of our PEX plumbing and how durable it is for our homeowners. After that, Clay talked about our ream hot water heaters, and then we started with the box build process and the plant there. Today, we're gonna to look at Lux flooring, we're gonna look at how our walls are built and constructed, and also how the windows are built and constructed. So, tossing it out to Clay now, take us away. This is Clay Wetzel with Clay Savannah. I'm proud to have Lux Floor Vinyl Flooring as a standard in all of our homes. If you look down here, we'll start with the high beams. We'll lay down the installation, put down the floor decking where they'll sand the beams, and then they'll roll out the vinyl flooring. Lux Floor sets a new standard for the housing industry, providing exceptional durability, contemporary design, and installation flexibility unlike any other flooring available. The patented fusion technology leaves floors virtually impenetrable to household stains, including asphalt and asphalt ceiling. Scott Scarf Protector on its own repels stains and allows for sticky substances to wipe up easily off almost any surface. When fused into flooring, it makes a significant difference in the surface's ability to protect the floor from staining and provides an easy to clean surface. Hey everybody, John here. So we're out in the uh, wall build department. Right here is the exterior walls and what, what's right behind it. But we're going to start first with the recipe. So the quote, the order that we get from you, actually, whoo, that was loud. That actually becomes the recipe that, work, that goes out here to the plant. This looks very similar to the quote that you get inside, uh, finalized for us to build the home. It has everything in this house, colors, etc. And then we also do this right here. We draw up a print to kind of show where each wallboard color goes. That recipe goes out to the plant, and that's how this home gets built correctly. Just gonna flip it over to Blake for just a second. Over the window. All right, guys, I'm over in the window build area. We'll get into the specifics of windows later, but this is how the windows are constructed here. You can see this station right here, this, this is job. His job all day is to build up window frames. And you can see on this frame over here, we've got the two by fours on the side, we've got the two by fours top and bottom. Then you also got the studs across the top and the bottom. That's to prevent the window from caving in over time. So what they do here is he builds up the window, the guys from wall build come over, they'll grab the window, and then they'll lay those out. And then a couple stations down, they'll actually install the window. So you can see all the support there on the top and bottom. Of course, that'll have the, the top runner on the top and the bottom runner on the bottom. They'll attach that too to give it all kinds of support. So look at all the support, all the two by fours, all the woods being used in those windows to make those secure and long like like this so they don't sag over time. So going back to wall build over here. This guy right here, he is cutting walls all day. So what he does is he gets the recipe book, he'll cut out his wall cuts all day. Uh, John probably mentioned it, but this is why we try to stay away from having nine, ten different wallboard colors in the house because it really makes it difficult on the plant to be able to cut that many. So what he's, he's got all his measurements. He goes and gets the main panel or the accent wall, whatever it is, and then he, cut, he cuts his wall out. And the rack's not over here right now, but what he'll do is he'll rack all those wallboards and rack them for the guys that are building the wall. So back over here, I'll toss it back to John. He's going to finish up wall build for us. See right now? See, we're picking up a wall, picking up a side wall that they're going to move all the way over to the other side, which is the uh, assembly side of the plant. This side's the build side of the plant. That side's the assembly side of the plant. They're about to pick this wall up, extra wall, and swing it over to that side of the plant to install it. All right, so right here you've got, you can see where we're building our top and bottom rails, right here, this guy in the middle. He, he's building top and bottom rails for, for all the walls. Then over to the far left table, you can see they're stapling as well as gluing the wallboard to the exterior sidewall. So we, we have a double effect there. We have glue as well as staples, which helps to hold that going down the road. You'll notice a lot of times with our homes, you won't see a lot of wallboards come off of your exterior sidewall. Now we're standard two before, 16 inch on center on all exterior walls. 
And we also have a double two before marriage line when we when the, when the house marries up together. Your interior walls, some are two by three cosmetic walls. Any of your plumbing walls or your load bearing walls do tend to be two by four walls. And that's all I got for now. here in the plant. Uh, we mentioned this over in the window area. All your door openings are going to be double two by four studded on the edges here. This gives you additional support over time here. You can see all the wood, the double two by four on the side here and the top and the bottom. Uh, you can see we're going to marriage these walls together here in just a little bit. Some of our competitors don't use two by four marriage lines. We actually double two by four on the marriage line. And I'm going to toss it down to John. He's going to talk about setting this wall here. But right now you're kind of behind the scenes, you're gonna see them set the marriage line on both sides. And what they do is they're fixing to lag that to the floor, and then once they've done that, they'll take two more walls that come in and they'll lag those together at the top. You can kind of see out in here where they lag in with the with the two before. Go ahead and walk that way and kind of get a good little shot. Like they will lag that bottom header to the floor, and then we'll also lag that to the roof once the roof comes in and set. We are still out here, now we're bringing in another sidewall. You see here a sliding glass door. See all those studs, we put all those studs in there to help keep that door in place. So right now what we're doing is we're standing out here to uh, just kind of finish it up. I wanted to show you how an interior P wall, a potential wall is lagging to the floor here. You see these three real big lag boats. They're about six inches long. They go all the way through the floor. That's how we lag in the uh, potential wall. And you see again, <laughs> some of your petition walls are going to be two by three. This is the uh, living room wall of a very popular model. So what we talked about today was wall build, wall set, and a little bit about floors. Clay hit on the uh, Lux floor. That, that's pretty much all we're going to talk to you about today. I'm going to let uh, Blake kind of finish this up. Hey guys, thank you for your time. Uh, next time we'll talk get into more wall build. We'll also get into the cabinet shop. So look forward to seeing you on the next video. Have a great Monday.